Hi, this is Brian Smith. Today is Wednesday, February 25th. And today is my fourth uh, video in my daily Linux uh, video series. And today we're going to talk about sdiff. sdiff is a very handy command. I use it almost every day. And what it does, it lets you do a side-by-side -side comparison or diff of two different files. And it's very handy if you're like if you have two uh, versions of a configuration file, like an old copy of a configuration file, a new copy of a configuration file, where someone's changed it. You can do an s diff between the old and the new and see what was changed. Um, it's really good for scripts um, or any other files that might change in uh, between time, and you have multiple copies. Very handy to use. To run it, you run s diff and you specify two files on the command line. <clears throat> and what what will happen is you'll see um, a column of data from the first file and a column of data from the second file of the lines of the file. If there's nothing in between the two columns, that means the lines are the same on both files. If you have a pipe or a bar, um, that means that the lines have differences in them between file one and file two. The greater than and less than mean that the file only exists either, either in the first or the second file. Now some common options you'll want to specify um, minus i will ignore case so it won't differentiate between upper and lower case characters minus uh, the big w will ignore all white space so this is handy if you're if you're comparing two configuration files that maybe they have some extra spaces in there you don't really care about that do minus big w and it'll ignore all white space and report it as the same if, if the only difference is uh, spaces um, minus little w and then a number will set the width of the uh, the output so if you have a, uh, a a large terminal you can set this up higher so you can you know so the lines don't wrap around and then minus s that's that specifies not to show the common lines so basically only show lines that are uh, you know only in one of the files are different. It, it won't show these ones that are the same if you do the minus S. So let's get on the live uh, system here and we'll do some demonstrations. I'll show you some basic stuff you can do and then I'll show you some advanced stuff you can do um, that's pretty cool as well. So let's hop on and take a look at it. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this demonstration is look at the SSHD configuration file. So here is the, the SSHD config and then there's also this other um, file that somebody made a backup of called sshd config um, to twenty fourteen, and so what we'll do is we'll use sdiff to compare these two files to see what changed between the two files. And this is a very common thing system administrators will run into on a day to day basis. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do sdiff, and then you specify the two files we want to compare. So sshd config. And then the second file will be sshd config um, 02 2014. And then you press enter. All right, and what you'll see here is there's there's two columns of data. This first column here is the first file, which is sshd config. And this second column over here is shd config underscore 2014. And if there's nothing in between, that means the lines on both files are identical. If we scroll down, if you see a bar, that means the line is in both files, but it's different. Like you can see on uh, the first file it was two minutes, on this file it's one minute, so there's the bar. And then this right here is saying these lines are present in the, the first file, but they're not present on the second file. And then you'd, you'd have that turned around the other way for f the lines that were in this file, but not in this file and it's that easy to do that. Now if you only want to see the lines that are different you just do a sdiff minus s and that will not show you any of the common lines so if we do that you can see it cuts way down on what the output is and it shows us the three lines that changed and the four lines that are only present in the sshd config file. So it's really that easy to use this. Um, Again, you also might want to use a minus i, that'll ignore case, minus a large w, that'll ignore all white space. Those are the common options you'll run into. All right, let's look at kind of an advanced example that's, that's kind of cool. So we're going to run sdiff. We're going to do minus s so that we only, sh only see um, differences. Won't, we don't want to show any of the common lines. We're going to do sshd underscore config. And then what we're going to do here 
is use process substitution, which is a bash feature where instead of specifying a file, you can run a command and it'll act like a file as an input to a command like this. So to do that, we'll uh, do that syntax there. And then we'll do a sed, single quote, s. And then what we're going to do here is basically Basically what I'm trying to do here is we're going to run a sed command and then we're going to use sdiff to compare what the sed command would have changed in the file. So I'm going to put permit root login yes and then permit root login no sshd config. Alright, so what this is going to do, this is going to compare our current sshd config file. And it's going to compare it to what's substituted for this process. This is called process substitution. Again, this is a bash uh, feature. And so it's going to run this command, sed. Sed is going to look for permit root login yes with a comment in front of it. And it's going to change it to permit root login no on the sshd underscore config file. And so what, what we're going to do is basically preview what sed is going to change in this file. And sdiff will show us only the lines that sed is going to change um, in the file. So we'll go ahead and press enter there. And you can see the only line that this in the file that this said command affected whoops, was this permit root login yes, permit root login no. So you can see in the original file it's commented yes. If we were to run this said command on the file it would change it to no. So anyways you can use sdiff along with this process substitution to kind of preview changes that said or other utilities were going to make without actually making the change. But say if we wanted to go ahead and make that change now that we know exactly what it's going to do we could do a said minus i put this in there go ahead and run it and make sure it made the change and there you go, it made the change. And since we previewed it up here with sdiff and the uh, process substitution, we knew exactly that it was only going to affect one line and not mess up anything else in the file. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you uh, learned something new. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please post them. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please post those as well. Thanks, and I hope you guys all have a great day today, and we'll see you tomorrow.